Hey, good evening to everyone. Logged on, we have about 45 persons on the live. Um, I want you guys to share the live because today we'll be looking at the weather. We'll be talking to Abdan White and we'll be going over the weather report for St. Vincent and the Grenadines and we'll be looking at the new tropical storm, Gonzalo. And um, let's bring in, we'll be bringing in Abdan White now. Abdan is a GIS expert. He's also a, the geography teacher for the Union Island Secondary School, and he's also a member of the the NEMO um, subcommittee on here on Union Island. And don't forget, you could participate in the comments. Um, as usual, feel free to to um, send in some comments so we can know where you're watching from. And please share the live. Please share the live so that other persons could who didn't get the notification could come on the live and <clears throat> and know what's going on. So let's get in touch with Abdan. I think he just just probably get bounced out of the live. Anyway, um, we wait for him to come back in. Hey, good evening, Abdan. Hey, Stan, I got, I got disconnected there, sick. Sorry about that. Yeah, so um, we're looking at Tropical Storm Gonzalo. That's a Spanish name, or? Yeah, 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 Gonzalo. Yeah. Um, so what we'll do is go over the the update, the, the weather report issued by the um, Argyle International Meteorological Office at 12 p.m. This one was issued at 12 p.m. We're right now waiting on the um 72 hours outlook it should be coming in anytime now um so <clears throat> tropical storm gonzalo has formed over the central atlantic ocean and um, it was previously a tropical depression seven tropical depression seven which formed yesterday that was uh, tuesday over the central tropic atlantic has been upgraded to tropical storm gonzalo at 11 o'clock a.m. today, Tropical Storm Gonzalo was centered near latitude 9.9 .9 north and longitude 4.3 west, 43.6 west, or approximately 1,205 miles east of the southern Windward Islands. And it's moving towards the west at 14 miles per hour. Maximum sustained winds are now near 50 miles per hour. With higher gusts, an additional strengthening is forecast to during the next couple of days. And Gonzalo Gonzalo is expected to become a hurricane by Thursday. That's tomorrow. And the estimated minimum central pressure is 1,000 millibars. Showers and thunderstorm activity and gusty winds are expected across SVG later this week and is expected to increase in intensity on Saturday as the center of Gonzalo approaches. Model guidance are indicating rainfall accumulation in excess of three inches through early Sunday. And watches and warnings for SVG will be issued from tomorrow, Thursday, the 23rd of July. All residents are advised to keep informed on the progress of the system and pay, pay close attention to updates being issued by the St. Vincent and the Grenadines Meteorological Services. So we have some um, we have some track tracking data here. Um, if you could see, um, it's showing that, as the update said, it it would strengthen to a hurricane by Thursday. And the tracking the tracking chart shows the system moving moving through St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Um, the last report shows between St. Mainland St. Vincent and, and Grenada. Would be the actual. This is what the, the storm looks like. Um, this image was within the last hour. 
Oh, you have done. So, um, we have we have we have Tropical Storm Gonzalo, and uh, it's expected to to increase in intensity to be in an hurricane uh, a hurricane by Thursday. What does right. that mean? Uh, before, well, I have some other information to go through um, just briefly. But what does this mean for? Well, especially for the Grenadines, the track data shows it passing through between across St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Um, I guess for uh, for the, as it as it gets closer um, to the weekend, the the models we would get updated models which would which would revise the the, the location. What does that mean, what does that mean for persons in the Grenadines, especially? I mean, the, the, the good, on a lighter note, um, Stan, we, we will be getting some rain that, that, that on a lighter note. But what does that mean for us is that we need to be prepared. Um, you, you, you don't ever want to take any storm lightly. Um, and based on what the projections are showing, if, if this tropical storm or, or what well, you said it was a tropical depression or a tropical storm? Tropical it storm, yeah, just yeah, it's a tropical yeah, it, storm. Yeah, it recently developed into a tropical storm, and most likely it may develop into in, in for a hurricane. Most likely yeah, it will be a category one hurricane. hurricane. Um, now every hurricane we have to take take it very seriously because, you know, um, you 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 may you some person may be affected by flood, some persons may be affected by you know the high winds and they they, they may lose their roofs, so. It means that we have to be prepared for any eventuality. And, and you know, being prepared right now is one of the most important things that persons on Union Island have to be right now because it seems like this storm is heading directly in our direction. Right. Um, so the, the maximum winds right now is 45 knots with gusts to right. 55 knots. And um, the minimum central pressure, 1,000 millibars. And the radius, radius of circulation is 150 nautical miles. Now, I will just go through some information from the meteorological office. Um, basically gives a summary. Um, well, they're, they're saying the summary of, hurricane, of the hurricane season, which is from the June the 1st to the 30th of November. Um, the Climate Prediction Center and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration forecasts a 60% chance for an above normal season, predicting that there is a 70% chance of having 13 to 19 named storms, of which 6 to 10 could develop into hurricanes, including 3 to 6 major hurricanes between categories um, 3 and 5. And I want to also go over some um, information on what is a tropical depression. A tropical depression is a tropical cyclone that has a maximum sustained surface wind, um, one minute on average, of 38 miles per hour or 33 knots or less. And a tropical storm, which um, Gonzalo is a tropical storm, is a tropical cyclone that has maximum sustained surface winds ranging from 39 to 73 miles per hour, um, which is 34 to 63 knots, nautical miles. And a hurricane is a tropical cyclone that has maximum sustained surface winds of 74 miles per hour or greater, um, 64 knots or greater. And um, for most persons, who, most persons may or may not know about the about the scale, the Sapphire Simpson scale, which um, basically is lists the hurricanes in categories one to five. So we have a category one, wind speed is 74 to 95 miles per hour. Um, and it have a little note, while wind speeds are quicker than the speed of a cheetah, um, there is not mu there's not much damage to property. And uh, a category two, which is 96 to 110 miles per hour. Wind speeds are faster than a baseball pitcher. And this, this category cyclone may break windows and destroy trees. And the category three hurricane, which 
has wind speeds of 111 to 129 miles per hour. And um, the damage is extensive, listed on the extensive. This wind speed is smaller or close to the serving speed of many professional tennis players. Well, they, they're kind of um, comparing it to 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 everyday um, speeds that you would know about. Um, this category cyclone can break windows and doors. And the category four, 130 miles per hour to 156 miles per hour. Um, there's much damage to property in this category cyclone. And in category five, 157 miles per hour or higher and um, destroys buildings. And um, it also gives some notes on storm surge. Some, a storm surge is an abnormal rise in sea level accompanying a tropical cyclone. The difference in height between the observed level of the sea surface and the level that would have occurred in the absence of the storm is usually estimated by subtracting the normal or astronomical tide from the observed storm tide. And we have uh, also, um, what is a watch and what is a warning? Um, you could get storm watch or storm warning as well as hurricane watch and hurricane warning. The watch is basically conditions are favorable but not imminent and pose possible threat to a specified coastal area within 48 hours. And a warning is um, where the conditions are in imminent and is expected in a specified coastal area within 36 hours or less. Um, so getting back, getting back to you, Abdan. Um, in terms of well, the, the efforts on the ground on Union Island, there's a there's a Nemo subcommittee on Union Island right. as, as well as all the other um, locations across in Vincent and the Grenadines. And at some point, we'll be touching base with Bekwe, um, Kano, and Myro. But you're a member of the the local subcommittee. How um. Was it was your role? What do, what what role the subcommittee plays before on an approaching weather system and um, during and and after? Now, one of the role of the subcommittee is, is um, especially the part before, is ensuring that everyone um, knows about the storm. Um, that's all the information ensures that all, all the all the um, the centers are ready, uh, the evacuation centers are ready. Also, um, so that, that's the part before the storm, getting um, ensuring that everybody knows that the storm is coming, working along with Nemo. So we receive most of our information from Nemo. Now, during the storm or just before the storm hits, if the storm is going to hit directly, then we will set up an emergency center um, emergency command center where we, we, we would be able to receive information both from Nemo and we would collaborate, for example, with the police, the Red Cross and other agencies in ensuring that, you know, if, if there's ever an event, we can respond to it as quickly as possible. Um, currently, you know, we recently, um, the warehouse was recently commissioned and it has a number of supplies there that we would have access to if we need to assist persons, whether it's in shelters uh, and, and all of that. So the other part of it, we will need to check the shelters, ensure that each shelter has shelter managers, ensure that the shelters are ready to accommodate persons. And after this, so that's during the, so during the storm, we'll just monitor receive calls if, if anybody needs help we'll try to help them as as best as we can and after this storm we will need to do an assessment um, um assess the damages on the ground if there is any and help to manage the situation on the ground until external help arrives and some persons on this currently the the chairman of the the subcommittee is mr stanford coy and other members of the subcommittee uh, myself uh, Ms. Dana Prime and Ms. Selby Adams. And we work along with a number of other groups, in, in, including the police, um, the hospital, which is in mainly the nurses, um, also the Red Cross. And there's also a CERT team on the ground. That's a community emergency response team. 
um, that receive training in the event of, for example, search and rescue or whatever is needed in 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 the event of an emergency, the search team is also ready to respond. So we basically act as as managers. Right. Um. So so let's go over the well. Um. For persons who are now joining, we just um we just went through the the weather update that was issued at um at noon, but we just got the latest um weather report, which which we'll go through in just a bit. Um, but right now, uh, we are not under, we're not under a warning or or need a watch. Um, so as more information comes in from Nemo, so Nemo is the responsible agent that would issue normally issue the watch and the warnings. Um, right. But Abdan, do you wanna do you want us to do you wanna go through the hurricane shelters? Um, well, basically, what is yeah, a uh, hurricane yeah, shelter? Yeah, it would be important for persons to know exactly. Know what are the shelters and see now in the southern granny maybe i could just go over the southern grannies include myron and possibly canna one right. um because we have persons watching from from those areas so in myro we have the um the myro government school um in canna one we have the canna one anglican church the canna one roman catholic church the canna one seven day adventist church the canna one society lodge the Canna One Kindergarten, that's in Grand Bay. Um, Wells of Living Water Church, that's also in 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 in, in Canna One. Um, I think that's it for Canna One. So Myra has two, which is the government school and the Myra Recreational Center. That is at the Roman Catholic Church in Myra. Myra is a small community. And on Union Island, the main one is the the main cent the main um, Oregon shelter would be the Ashton Learning Resource Center that's currently housing the Mary Hutchinson Primary School. Um, we also have the Ashton Gospel Hall Church, the St. Matthias Anglican Church, the Rocky Hill Seventh-day Adventist Church, the Union Island Baptist Church. I believe that's the Union Island Baptist Mission that's located um, in Garden Field. Um, then you have the Clifton Preschool, and the St. Joseph Roman Catholic Church, also in Clifton. So those, those are the those are the centers in the Southern Grenadines. Right. Um, so what I want to do is to go over the latest weather report from the from the Met Services at at Argyle. Um, so at 5 p.m. today, the center of Tropical Storm Gonzalo was approximately 9.9 .9 knot and 45 degrees west. And the storm is moving westward at 14 miles per hour with a maximum sustained wind of near 50 miles per hour and possesses a minimum central pressure of 1,000 millibars. So you could see from the last report at, at midday to know the, the pressure hasn't um, increased, it's still 1,000 millibars. Um, additionally, strengthening its focus during the next couple of days and Gonzalo is expected to become a hurricane by Thursday. The necessary watch and warnings will be issued by the St. Vincent and Grenadines Meteorological Services. And uh, general outlook feared to occasional cloudy skies and isolated showers are forecast across St. Vincent and the Grenadines on Thursday. However, by late evening, um, late Thursday evening, instability, um, a shear line ahead of Tropical Storm Gonzalo should trigger some scattered showers and possible isolated thunderstorms across SVG into Friday. So um, ahead, moving ahead of the storm, you could expect to get some scattered showers and some thunderstorms. And... Moderate to heavy showers, gusty winds, and thunderstorm activity are forecast for Saturday as Tropical Storm Gonzalo interacts with the island chain. Model guidance suggests rainfall in excess of three inches is possible by late Saturday night. All residents are advised to keep informed on the progress of this system and pay close attention to updates being issued by the SVG Met Services. And uh, moderate to fresh. Northeasterly trade will cross the islands up to Friday, but um, near gale conditions 
50 kilometers per hour with high gusts are anticipated across SVG by late evening into Saturday. And slight to moderate sea condition with swells peaking to one meter on the western coast and two meters on the eastern coast are forecast up to Friday afternoon. And uh, moderate 2.2 meters to 2.5 meters sea condition expected by nightfall as the system begins to affect the island. Small craft operators and sea baiters should exercise caution and keep informed on the progress of this system. A uh, tropical storm watch will be issued for SVG at 8 a.m. tomorrow. So, Abdan, that's it for the weather update. From that's the latest update from the Argyle Met Services. So, um, basically, it, it's it's still is similar to the update at midday. Um, with 50 yeah. miles per hour wind, and they're still forecasting it um, in a nutshell to increase into a hurricane by Thursday. And um, there's some some information on the sea conditions, so small craft operators should exercise some caution. And while we're on small craft operators, I've done um, with the system approaching, um, well, depends on where it goes. What, what was the what was the What's the normal thing for both operators? What's advised for both operators? From well, especially small crabs, um, it, it is advised that they take them out of the water, um, get them up on land as, 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 as much as, as they can. Um, I, I know, historically speaking, persons in Union Island have used the Ashton Lagoon. That's the bigger boats because we don't have the facility here to bring the bigger boats up, up, up on land. But the small craft operators, definitely, they need to, to pay attention to all the advisory, ensure that they're not at sea, and ensure that their boats, because that's the livelihood, ensure that their boats are up on land, and it is it is at least at least 20 meters from, from, from the sea, because we never know the extent of the storm surges, and if, if you have some serious storm surges, then it, it, it can cause flooding and then you know if, if you have flooding in the clifton area or and some boats are in the ashton area it could cause the boats to move and it may cause further damages to the boat and, and persons don't really don't really want that so the advice of the small craft operators listen to the advisories pay very very close attention secure your investment secure your boats up on land and and um you know just wait it out don't i know in the past some guys with with probably lime at the fisheries or lime down the road just to keep an eye on the boat but you know that is not advice do your very best to secure your boats and then find a safe place whether it's in your house or at a shelter all right so we have a question coming in from wilson doris um she's asking do you have an appointed do you have appointed persons who will check on the elderly in case they need evacuation? They like are they safe or need to move? Do you have a list of vulnerable persons who will be checked upon should things get very bad? Um, well, the, the, the community health aides, those, those are the persons who, who we normally commission to to assist in 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 in, in providing us with, with, with information. Of persons, elderly persons who, who may be living alone um, and who may need assistance. It depends on where they are and how strong their houses are. But what we strongly advise, because is is for each family to be prepared. We, we we strongly advise that each family come up with an emergency plan for their family. And I know more, a lot of people in Union Island or or a lot of people generally in the Grandies. We we, we don't take these things seriously and oftentimes when you have a hurricane or, or or you have a disaster persons are running and scrambling now if you have a family emergency plan that plan will will give clear directives of for example the safe spaces in the house where the emergency kits are for example where fire extinguishers are extinguishers are um where do you go in the event that you know you have to evacuate your house uh, and all those things so um in terms of a checklist of your pets 
it has it should have everything because you know a lot of people have pets they have animals and 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 and, and these these the, these animals also have to be secured but in terms of for the elderly it, it is it is strongly advised we that each family have an emergency plan but in the event um the community health is um in in in, in collaboration with, with the red cross they, they they would have a list of all the vulnerable persons in the event and those are the first persons we normally check on when when the storm passes anyway and before the storm to ensure that they are safe if they need to be evacuated um we we will suggest that to them um if mandatory evacuation becomes necessary then the police will assist us in in in, in evacuating because you you never want to put um emergency workers or emergency responders um in danger by calling them out while the storm is going on to go and and, and, and rescue someone um so it is strongly advised that that persons really if if they know that they're they're not um in a safe place or they may need some assistance that they contact us whether it's the police or they or they contact us and we will we will try to help them as best as they possibly can but it's important that each family have their their emergency plans and their, their hurricane kits one for evacuation and one for, for 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 your home so in the event that you have to evacuate you then the kit would definitely be different than the one that you will keep if if you don't have any intention of evacuating but it's always advisable that you have both of them and what about um what about businesses um would you or do, do you recommend the same plan for for business well something close now each each business for example would have to come up with 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 with, with, with their own plan um each business would have to come up with their own plan in terms of let me so that normally the, the thing with hurricane is that you know it's coming you know most likely when it's going to come um so unlike for example earthquakes or 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 for example earthquakes or volcanic eruption for example with hurricanes most businesses are closed anyway and um so specifically for hurricane but if Business are also advised to create a, 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 an emergency plan and, you know, designate areas of the business, for example, safe areas that will have phone numbers. It will have, for example, where, where persons evacuate, um, who evacuates first, um, and all that information. Now, it will also, in, in, in terms of hurricane, Part of that business plan will also include, for example, securing windows and doors. It depends on, 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 on for example, start and you will notice every year, the bank, the, the, the employees, they will board up the, the, the glass and they will get sandbags and they will put it in front of the door. That is part of the emergency plan. That, that is part of the things that they have to do to ensure that the business place is safe. But for business plans, it's mainly a, in in terms of for hurricane. It's mainly about ensuring that you do not suffer more losses than 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 than, than is necessary. So it, it will include evacuation routes and and it will include, for example, information. Um, when do you start boarding up? When do you start closing up? Um, packing up stuff around the business places and ensure that you know things do not fly all over the place and ensuring that every employee knows and is familiarized with the with, with the emergency plan all right so we, we have some comments here um good afternoon from the center and the grenadines watching with you from brooklyn new york praying for your safety during the tropical storms and hurricane season god is good all the time and blessings to blessings every time love you my homeland svg uh, Somebody talking about the plan. Can we defer to say take all precautions, stay safe, stay safe, my people. And uh, another question 
um, about the shelter. Does the shelter have or will be equipped with basic or made up with first aid kits? Yeah, every every shelter, every shelter would, would have those basic things. And what is important to note, um, because we are dealing with this whole COVID pandemic, every person coming to a shelter has to wear a mask. And and that's that, that and so no persons would be allowed in the shelter if 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 they do not come for example, the mass and, and, and persons in the shelter. For example, if a shelter normally would house 100 persons, the shelter would, would probably be operating at a 25 to, to, to 35% capacity because persons have to be properly social distanced. And so definitely in shelters, we had the advice coming from Nemo and the Ministry of Health is that persons going to the shelters um, have to go there in, my, in my knowing that you know we're dealing with a COVID pandemic and persons will be required to wear masks in the shelter but first aid kits will be available at the shelter and we're also asking people you know because you, you never know um, you don't you can't not over prepare so although the shelter will be required to have certain things, um, there's a three-day gap. So for example, there's a three-day gap in which you may have to deal with certain things yourself before, before other help arrives. But definitely the shelters would, would have first aid kits. And yeah. we, we should be meeting and speaking with shelter managers probably from tomorrow um, for example, I'm a shelter manager for the United Island Secondary School. Um, so I'll be meeting with the principal tomorrow to discuss where persons will be housed, um, have the bathrooms ready in case persons may have to stay there for a longer period of time and ensure that we have some other supplies at the school necessary to make sure windows are, are properly secure, that they could open and close, and doors are properly secured and all of that. And since you mentioned um, shelter management, what's the what was your role as the as the shelter manager? You well, you listed some of them um, briefly, but was 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 what what what, what, what would be your main um, well your critical role? Uh, well, the, 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 the main role thing is is ensuring that the shelter one is ready to receive persons, and also that when persons arrive, um, the shelter manager will also be responsible for um providing them with with for example a space where, where 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 they will be housed the shelter manager will be also responsible for keeping a record of all those persons who come into the shelter and in also ensuring that persons while they're at the shelter that they are safe and that they get the necessary help that that that, that is needed now one of the things when persons come for, to a shelter they have to walk with food that will last them for three days. Um, reason being, you and, and, and this this has been, been 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 a topic of discussion. But persons have to, um, in 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 an emergency, sometimes the help that you need may not arrive when you need that help to arrive. And we are multi island state, and you don't want every time you have a hurricane, for example, Nemo puts. A certain amount of food in the shelter and then no one goes to the shelter and then that food spoils it become expensive so we are advising every family to have a a, a, a food pack with with, with 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 goods that that are not perishable goods goods that do not need to be stored in a refrigerator because you don't know if power lines would be done or what but you that you you when you come to the shelter make sure that you have enough food that would last you sorry that would last that would be able to last you for three days we're not saying that you will not get help before the three days but in the event that that help does not come right away you have to ensure that you you, you have enough supplies that would last you that amount of time also um, right go ahead and rosie says advice also to walk with their medication when coming to the shelter right right that 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 is that is it that is important also 
Um, this question might seem kind of um, obvious, but how how do you determine if you need to go in a shelter? Um, one, it depends on the category of the storm. It depends on where you live in an area that is prone to flooding. And, you know, you information, you could get information to know if, if the hurricane will bring a lot of rain because buses are affected by flooding and by, by the wind. Also, it depends on the structural integrity of your house. If, if you feel that your house is not structurally sound, then it's best that you 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 you, you go to a shelter. Um, so those, 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 those are each person's each person will have to to decide. But if it's a case where, for example, um, you, for example, you have a category five hurricane, um, the government may decide that listen, everyone in a particular area needs to evacuate because the potential danger or but but normally we would go around and we would advise persons based on where they live um to go into a shelter but persons have to make that determination for themselves and for okay. elderly for, for persons who who might um, not um be technically savvy um persons who won't be on facebook persons who wouldn't be listening radio how um how how do you normally how do you, how does the committee, the subcommittee, get the warnings or the or the warnings and the, the updates out to to persons well, in the community? Apart from, apart from it being on, on radio and television, when when the storm is is, is close, we we go around on on, on with with blow those what do you call them blow horns. I, I, I hope I'm calling yeah, that name. Blow, blow the air, yeah. Right. Blow and and we, we, we drive around the community. I'm um, letting persons know that the storm is on the way when the storm is most likely to to hit. Um, asking them to make the necessary preparation, ensure that they secure stuff around their house. If they have trees overhanging, cut those trees because you don't want that for situations um, stand where you you you're in your room and then you know a tree hits and breaks the window of your of your children and all of that. So you want to make sure that that around your house is safe. That your pets are safe, that there, there are no loose materials around because the wind can pick up those materials and slam them against your house and it could cause for the damage, for the damage to to, to, to other person. Right. So well well the idea of this this entire program, um where to watch. Is really to to get persons into the habit of being prepared, you know. Um, as I see a comment here, it says, um, "Please don't wait until the last minute to move. We love to see and to wait and see, and move at the last minute." Um, how much, Abdan? How much? How much of this? This well, if you want to say attitude, this wait and see attitude. Do do you do you see um, the last minute attitude, as as we may call it? No, it, it's, it's, it's everywhere. The, the majority of the persons, persons do not prepare. Um, that, that is a fact. Um, if, if, if you go, for example, I'm going to go through a list of, of some of the things you should have in your home kit. And Stan, maybe yourself and some of the viewers could ask themselves, do I have these things in my home kit? For example, at your home kit, two flashlights, a battery-operated radio, six to eight sets extra sets of batteries a cooler or an ice box matches and a lighter a camping stove or coal pot charcoal and kerosene a fire extinguisher and a box of baking soda or sand extinguish um or sand to extinguish fire if anyone if any family is taking prescription medicines keep a two-week supply on hand if you have an infant stock up of uh, um stock up a two-week supply of diapers baby formula bottles pacifiers etc um a force aid kit with a force aid book a two-week supply of over-the-counter medicines aspirin stomach um anti-acids anti-diarrhea medicine iodine hydrogen peroxide antibacterial ointment bandage insect repellent scissors tape etc um 
towels, a camera, um, a video camera, and um, basically this is to make recording of, of things, how you leave your place and, 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 and your documents and all of that. Kitchen utensils, knives, spoon, forks, a whistle, and a, a whistle is very important this time, very, very, very important. In, in the event that, you know, somebody is lost, you blow the whistle and, 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 and they'll find you. So those yeah, are some of the things get that trapped under debris. Yeah. Exactly. Something because it's not it's not only for hurricanes, it's also in the event that you have a because you could have a hurricane in the middle of a hurricane, you have a earthquake. Yeah. You know, two disasters could strike at the same time. So you must all be, be prepared. So that is the home kit. But then there's also um you also have to have a cell phone fully charged, and now these days, you know, we have these battery packs. So if you have battery packs, make sure you charge your battery packs and, and you don't use them on, 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 unless you have to. If you have your your your, your cell phone, only use it. don't be using a cell phone to play games because the electricity may go. You have to have drinking water in plastic containers that is able to last you for at least 14 days. Now, in our case in Union Island, we have tanks. Um, but, for example, in... in this this may mainly affect houses on the mainland or in other countries that 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 use portable or pipe borne water um you also have to have to have a water purifying kit non-perishable food in cans and containers and a box of um large garbage bags so on that list then how many of those things do, do most of the listeners or yourself or, or I even ask myself the question am I really prepared with my home kit if if for, for a hurricane and and if I have to for example lose my roof or 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 or, or Vinleg um doesn't you restore uh, power lines go down and Vinleg doesn't restore power within a week or two am I prepared to deal with the fallout from that so do, 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 those are some of the things and you also must have an evacuation kit so that's the home kit i don't know if you permit me i could go through some of the things with the evacuation kit in, in in the event that you may have to go to a shelter before or you may just have to grab some stuff and run quickly so in your evacuation kit you must have sleeping bags you must have air or four mattresses identification cards for everyone well you know you might not have for, for children important documents secured in 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 watertight containers medicines and prescription drugs extra clothes and shoes books games playing card because people may get restless when when they're in a shelter soap shampoo toothpaste toothbrushes deodorant toilet paper feminine products paper towels also have cash at hand because banks may be done you might not be able to go to the atm and take out money or banks may be closed so you, you, you may need some necessary cash that you believe would be able to last you for at least two weeks. Food for at least three days, drinking water, um, baby food if, 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 if necessary. All right? So those are some of the things, you know, persons should have in their, in their, in their, in their, in their evacuation kit. Yeah, and someone said, um, please let the people know that they should check and secure their roofs. Roofs, yeah. But make sure they do that before the storm before. approaches. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be doing that. Um, you know, I, I, when I was younger, I, I did some crazy stuff. I remember I stayed in my grandmother's house. It's a house that is older than, 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 than I am. And when the eye of the storm passed or part of the eye, I, I I ran outside and and, and and put down back some nails because the roof was about about to go. Um, but that is something persons never want to do. Um, go outside when, when when a storm is going on. And I know we something we inquisitive and we want to see this and we want to see that. But the best thing is to stay inside because a power line could fall and it could drop in some water. Galvanized could blow and it could cut off your neck. There are a number of things that could happen. Rocks could fall. You could have landslides. So sometimes the safest place you can be is either in your home or if your home is not safe enough, 
you can find yourself in a shelter. But do not, do not, do ever play with these, these, these dogs. Well, Abdan, we, we're quickly running out of time. Um, I just want to give persons who probably would have joined the live um, late a summary. Well, basically, the summary is we're tracking um, Tropical Storm Gonzalo. And um, it's forecasted to be in our area by Saturday. And it's also forecasted to, to upgrade to a hurricane by tomorrow. Currently, it's uh, moving at four, 14 miles per hour with um, sustained winds near 50 miles per hour. And as it gets closer and we get more, update, more updates, um, we would see where the track, um, if there's any changes to the track. Currently, the, the tracking chart from the National Hurricane Center shows it across um, just, just north of Grenada. That is, uh, that is right through the, the Grenadines, the Southern Grenadines, um, that's the, the center. So um, basically, Abdan, we're trying to make use of the technology. We're broadcasting from Union Island. Um, and this is basically to get persons pe prepared. And, you know, this year this year is a leap year. I don't know if it's worth mentioning that. But we, we need right. to be prepared, especially this year. Right. Exactly. <laughs> um, a, lot of things, a lot of bad things have happened this year. And, and um, I really thought that the second half of the leap year would have been would have been better, but it, it has also started off bad and you know all I could all I could ask everybody is to be safe. Um Stan, I hope we could do this again as 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 the storm gets closer to us. Um but any assistance that persons need um let us let us let, let us know um but take all the warnings you know pay attention to the media houses um that 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 broadcast information so you know you know how the storm is doing and any development with the storm so that your you and your family can 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 be safe and you could you could secure your business and 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 and, and not lose not not lose anything at all and then it's like the the system well a tropical storm watch is expected to be issued for svg by tomorrow morning and leading up to the weekend, um, Abdan, we we'll, we'll try to get to we we'll try to get the director on the show. Um, she was very busy this evening with all the meetings and prep, preparation works. But we we'll try to get Miss Forbes on the show as the director for Nemo. We'll also try to get all of the other um, coordinators throughout the Grenadines, the Nemo subcommittee co coordinators in Beckway, Kanoan, on Myro. Um, I see. I, I could see that you prepared, Abdan. Um, and we know that the, the, we have a new satellite warehouse with a lot of equipment. So we know right. that the, the, you're prepared in terms of equipment for, for rescuing persons and for, you know. So um, we, we're trying to do this so that persons could, could be prepared. The bottom line is preparedness. Yes. Uh, um, you know, we don't want, we don't want any, any lapses this year at all. We don't want any loss of lives. Um, due to any storm system. So, um, I've done it. it was very edifying for me. Um, certainly, I don't have a whistle. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to get your whistle, man. Next time, I'm supposed to have some extra whistles lying around. So. Yeah, so, if, if I get nothing else, I must get a whistle. So I could, <laughs> at least I could blow I could blow you when you're passing. <laughs> yeah, we, we use the neighbors. So, so. Yeah. But just make sure, you know. I just ask him persons if you can't get everything in the kit, um, Stan, I'll send you I'll send you a copy of the, the stuff that each person should have in the um, emergency kits for home and for evacuation. And maybe you could post it on, 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 on Radio Grenadines and post it to use the next few days to see how they could get as much as those stuff, you know, to ensure that them and their family, you know, are are, are safe. We don't know the hurricane could it, it could it could it could be a, a small hurricane it could be a very 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 large one just yeah so this is weather watch coming um straight out of union island the southern grenadines um and i think we kind of force out of the blocks um with with with, with, with some weather updates and we're trying to make use of the new technology so so safe stay safe everyone um we'll be bringing you updates as we track the storm through to the weekend and I want you guys to be safe. Share the live because the live would be stored on the page. So hit share below. It only takes 
takes about one second to hit live and get the message out. So, folks, um, be safe. And Abdan, it was great having you on the show. Until, until next time. Uh, thanks for having me, man.